Hello everyone, welcome to the Forum of Peace, Love and Human Rights, calling for an end to state violence and for a world of love and peace. Today I will be the host. The International Week of Peace and Love runs from September 15th to 21st. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the 911 terrorist attacks. It is an important time to reflect on our actions and to express a wish for love and peace. Actually, 20 years ago on the same day, Tai Chi Men, a Taiwanese cultural and spiritual group, traveled to Honolulu, Hawaii, to hold the praise ceremony and cultural exchange in the hopes of healing a world filled with fear and suffering. As a result, Honolulu Mayor Jeremy Harris declared September 16, 2001, as Taijiman Qigong Academy and Dr. Hong Daozi Day. In honor of Dr. Hong Daozi and Taijiman's contribution to world peace. The members of Taijiman, on the other hand, go to Honolulu after 20 years, not for the rewards, but to demand justice for the 25 years they have been persecuted by the Taiwanese government. The administrative enforcement agency took Taijiman's land, which was supposed to be the location for the self-cultivation facility, in August 2020. Seeing this happen in this country, I would say, people's freedom of belief, as well as their right to live, own property, and be free of terror are abused by the tax violence. Taijima's efforts of world peace and love have been reported on Manhattan Neighborhood Network recent days. Taijima's case is also attracting more and more attention from global. There is a short clip. Let's take a look. What is it like to witness a movie-like event right in front of you? Today is the 20th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attack in the United States. On this day of remembrance, the world is also experiencing the ravages of the COVID-19, economic crisis in many countries, and the resurgence of war and terrorism. Several organizations, including the Association of World Citizens, hold a number of online forums to reflect on the current world situation by looking back at September 11th. The September 11th terrorist attacks occurred 20 years ago. The planes were flown into the Twin Towers in New York, causing the loss of thousands of lives. Dr. Hong Daozi, Zhang Menren of Taiji Man, and his disciples witnessed and experienced that day in person. Dr. Hong led the crowd in ringing the bell of world peace and love to help soothe public's fears. The sound of the bell was calm and resonating. The whole event was broadcasted live on Manhattan TV. The hope is to comfort and awaken people's desire for love and peace. This is the philosophy that Tai Jiman adhered to. Mr. Lee expressed his great admiration for Dr. Hong's boundless love. Feng,幾乎所有的活動全部都停止。這時候真的很佩服。我的師父的一句話,他說,如果我們現在不做些什麼,我們這一次就白來了。就這句話開始啟動了我們所有太極門弟子在紐約在這麼不安的一個情況之
Professor Lucas Lian, a Taiwan-based professor of Osnabrück University, Germany, denounced Prosecutor Ho, who allegedly abetting a National Taxation Bureau official, Shi Yuesheng, to testify with false evidence in 1985. 把你放上你的头上然后说哎三十亿那你可能要交几亿最后没收了是你全部的财产这个跟塔利班有什么两样交说为证就是如此的昏庸二十五年受到台湾司法应该讲检查体系跟税务机关恐怖的攻击到今天
time and time again use indictment materials that were abandoned by court already to impose unjustified taxes on Taijiman. Moreover, they intimidate and use any illegal means to search for these houses and arrest them, and even discredit Taijiman with the fake news of Taijiman raising goblins. In 2007, the Supreme Court ruled that Tajiman had no fraud and had no tax evasion. And in 2010, the Ministry of Finance and the National Taxation Bureau agreed to the on-site resolution at the Legislative Yuan's public hearing, promising to resolve the Tajiman tax case within two months. In 2019, National Taxation Bureau also corrected the tax bills from 1991 and from 1993 to 1996 to zero, but left taxes for 1992 un uncorrected on purpose. Then last year, 2020, the National Taxation Bureau and the Administrative Enforcement Agency together Use this tax bill to forcefully auction the land of Taijiman, and the land was confiscated in ignorance of due process of law. Love and peace on the common aspiration of all people. My Shifu Dr. Hong is dedicated to fulfilling these great missions in his lives and plants the seeds of love and peace in every place around the world and in every person's heart he met at all times. Today, I would like to call upon Taiwanese officials from the Ministry of Finance and National Taxation Bureau and the Administration Enforcement Agency. The mistakes you made is to destroy Taiwanese vision for a bright future and love and peace. Do you fulfill your duty to benefit the public, the people of Taiwan? Your power is given by the people of Taiwan. You should serve the people first. Please keep your promises and immediately resolve the 25-year-old Tajman tax case. Thank you. Thank you, Honor. As early as 2007, Tajman was declared not guilty and tax-free in the third instance of the Supreme Court and even received compensation from the government. The state also certified the case as a significant human rights violations case. After 25 years, there is still no way to redress a case that was recognized innocent by the government and the five governmental top point authorities. Not to mention that the officials who violated the law and abused power in this case were not punished. The officials protected and covered for each other, and even got promoted throughout their career. Isn't this the biggest joke for a democratic country? I am 25 years old this year. Meaning that how old I am is how long the persecution has lasted. Many people have since passed away before justice come. Next, let's welcome Stella Lin the public relations officer, to share her viewpoint. Welcome, Stella. Thank you, Jacqueline, and hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to participate in this forum on this special day. As a Taijiman Dizi, I grew up in an environment with love and peace. Our Shifu not only teaches us Qigong to make me stay healthy, but also tells me to improve my temper. That's why when I meet tricky clients at work, instead of being angry or complaining, I usually turn my mind and encourage my colleagues to sing passively together. In addition, Shifu has led us traveling around 101 countries to share the culture of peace with love and conscience. For example, we have visited India to attend the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World for 10 times. During the conference, we discussed love, peace, and conscience with presidents, ministers, justices, and other heads of the state from all over the world. And they promised to bring the idea back to their nations and practice it every day. 
In the meantime, we reinforce the importance of love, peace, and conscience with local students and teachers in India and share how we implement it in our daily lives, hoping that the concept of conscience can take root from their early ages to realize our potential. She's nice because she's rich. This is a classic line in the movie Parasite that won four awards in Oscars 2020. But when Indian citizens from all walks of life across the world, across the caste system, endorse the Declaration of International Day of Conscience, promising to pra practice conscience in their own daily lives, I think everyone believes that this is not entirely correct as I do. Because everyone is qualified to act with conscience, make the right decisions, and help others in daily lives. However, what tears my heart out is that such a group promoting the culture of conscience of love and peace and bringing both physical and spiritual health to modern society has been framed by the government as an evil organization that owns tax. On December 19, 1996, Prosecutor Kuan Ren Ho led hundreds of police officers who carried who carried weapons to search all chapters of the Taijiman Qigong Academy and the private residences of several Taijiman Dizi, and then unlawfully detained Shifu for four months. Additionally, the prose prosecutor made up false amounts of money and falsely claimed that the money was proceeds from fraud and requested to be confiscated, but meanwhile claimed that the same money was tuition income and business revenue and transferred the case to the National Taxation Bureau, the so-called NTB. After 10 years, the criminal court of third instance found all the defendants in the Taijiman case not guilty of fraud, tax evasion or violations of tax codes and stated that the red envelopes given to Shifu were gifts and thus tax-free income. For 25 years, Taijiman has won its case against the NTB 18 times in the Petitions and Appeals Committee of Taiwan's Ministry of Finance and Administrative Courts. However, an illegal auction of Taijiman's property was conducted in 2020. Shifu once said that promoting conscience is what he has been doing all his life. Even though he has been framed by the state for 25 years, he still leads us to continue to promote love and peace. Just like 20 years ago when the 911 attacks happened in the United States, Shifu still led brothers and sisters to fly to Honolulu, Hawaii. In addition to the commitment, we also hope to soothe and help heal every wounded soul when disaster strikes. In the era of the pandemic and disasters, we see that Taiwanese government still refuses to admit their mistakes or even illegally snatch people's land. What I feel is distressed and anguished for those tax, vi tax victims who have also been treated injustice. This is why we are here to tell more people about this case, to make everyone pay attention to the human rights of taxation and be willing to pay attention to those loopholes hidden in the tax provisions that violate the rights of the people and awaken the government's conscience through the power of the whole people. Facing the mistakes of the past and solving the problems left over for decades is the best way to achieve love and peace. Thank you. Thank you, Stella. On this historic day, over 30 volunteers from Action Alliance to Redress 1219, which supports the redress of the Taijiman case, and representatives of Taijiman members gathered in front of the UN building and other locations in New York to pray for the city.
There is a touching story behind the video clip. Their protest drew the attention of nearby police officers. The volunteers described the objective of their demonstration and stated that for the past 20 years, they have been fighting for justice while spreading love and peace. The policemen were moved by the volunteers' efforts and inquired if they needed any assistance. The narrative serves as a back example of how a government person may stand with the people and pursue justice together. The question is whether or not government officials are willing to reveal their true feelings. We love Taiwan. That is why we are here, fighting for human rights for all Taiwanese citizens, not just Tai Chi men. We continue to stick to the truth and justice out of love for the country, never compromising on the incorrect issues. People can only live without fear of state violence if the government recognizes the necessity of human rights protection. The last but not the least, let's welcome the health care consultant, Yvonne Lai, to share her viewpoints. Hi, Yvonne. Thank you, Jacqueline. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yvonne Lai. As a healthcare consultant, I'm so proud of what Taiwan government officials have done to protect all Taiwanese from the COVID-19 pandemic. The officials have practiced advanced development which shows that the government really values Taiwanese health and human rights. At the same time, I'm extremely pained and outraged. Because although the Taiji Man fabricated case happened 25 years ago, even to this day, the tax bill has not been revoked and the sacred land has not been written to Taiji Man. I haven't been a Taiji Man since I was 7 years old. I am extremely grateful to my Shifu Dr. Hong because he teach me life lessons. Throughout my life, he has guided me to self-reflect and improve myself to become a better, pe better person and have a meaningful life. The inner yang philosophy helps me balance my physical and mental health and overcome the difficulties of life. Just like me, many other Pajiman brothers and sisters has changed their life because Shifu and Taijiman. In order to show our gratitude, these gifts read envelopes to our Shifu. However, the prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren illegally indicted Taijiman, misidentified the Ren envelopes as crime school tuition, and refer it to Next General Taxation Bureau for Taxation. It is ridiculous and unacceptable. My grandfather has as 85 years old and has been a member of Taiji Man for 16 years. Is it necessary for an elder like him to attend crime school for 16 years? What is the explanation for this? Ho Kuan Ren has no way to knowing if the red envelopes were gifts or not. How could he send in Taiji Man's matter to the National Tax Bureau while well, the Supreme Court has not yet to rule. Based on the Supreme Court decision and all evidence, the NTB should have revoked the illegal tax bills right away. However, the NTB officials not only keep issuing the unjust tax bills right, but also in order to maintain the tax bill have committed for forgery. Suppress evidence and deceive the legislator. The country Yuan judges, media, and the public for the past 25 years. We no longer have faith in the National Taxation Bureau agencies. The Taipei Tax Bureau, the Central Taxation Bureau, lower the tax bills for the year 1991 and 1993 to 1996 to zero in 2019. The government should not go against their own word. They should honor their own promise. 
they must change the year 1992 to zero as well. Furthermore, the Taipei Supreme Administrative Court sent letters twice to the NTB of the central area on May 5th and July 23rd, 2020, requesting that the enforcement should be withdrawn in accordance with the law. However, on August 21st, 2020, the NTBCA conspired with the Administrative Executive Office to forcibly auction the sacred land of Taijiman and nationalize the land. My Shifu also teaches me the value of loving my country and the world by taking real actions. He leads us to travel around the world, having visited 101 countries at our own expense. I am very fortunate to have the opportunity to travel with my Shifu to Netherlands, Austria, Germany, Chile, South Korea, United States, Australia, and Pacific Islands to promote the message of love and peace. When I return to Taiwan, I feel compelled to join my older Taijiman brothers and sisters who are in their 80s and 90s, doing street protests since 2010. They are exposed to the sun under 37 Celsius weather and heavy rain. How can Taiwan government officials violate their people's human rights for 25 years? I'm deeply pained and outraged, so I have participated as many protests as I can. So I went to Katagalan Boulevard in front of the presidential palace to speak out for Taijiman and all Taiwanese citizens who have been abused by the NTB. As martial artists, we cannot accept such injustice. If this case is not settled today, we will continue to fight for our rights. We never compromise. Here, we call for the help of the international public. We are seeking humanitarian support. We will continue to invite international experts and scholars to speak out about the Taiwan Tajiman fabricated case. If the government officials don't listen to people's voices, there is no love. If state violence continues, there can be no peace. If the Taijiman unjust tax bills are not revoked and the nationalized properties is not returned, there is no human rights. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. The example of Taijiman is not unique. In Taiwan, there are several instances of unjust illegal and falsified taxation. Taiwan has long been recognized as an Asian democracy with a strong rule of law and respect for human rights. The National Human Rights Commission was founded last year to bring Taiwan's human rights in line with international norms. As a result, I remain optimistic that the Taiwanese administration will be able to resolve the issue. The question is, whether or not government officials are willing to reveal their conscience. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the 911 attacks. The disaster resulted in not only the casualties on the day, but also a 20-year conflict, a cost of almost $2 trillion, an untold horror. In order to avoid the mistake in the future, we must rectify the past error by pursuing transitional justice, or our Mother Earth will suffer greatly again. As a result, we request that the officials immediately return the illegally confiscated land and justify the Taijiman case. Finally, I would like to urge all participants and the audience in front of the video to make a fist in front of your chest symbolizing your conscience, and place your left hand on your fist, symbolizing the protection of your conscience. 
Let's take a photo right now to commemorate this momentous occasion. The most essential thing is to take 30 seconds to make a wish for a world filled with love and peace, and to hope that state violence would cease. So now, let's close your eyes and make a wish. Three, two, one. Okay, let's open your eyes and put down our hands. Each of us is global citizen. I wish that everyone can follow their conscience, respect human rights, and be united and tolerant each other, so that the world can move toward peace and happiness. It is the end of the forum. Thanks for your participate. Please keep following us. See you next time. Bye bye. 正义感，是心中时刻燃烧不灭的火苗。害怕烫伤的我们，正因畏惧批判，或事不关己，将它在心中的角落搁置。但它一直都在，一样炙热，一样耀眼，只等着我们放开心胸触碰。习惯待在舒适又凉快影子里的我们，是不是该是时候踏出那一步了？重返阳光，让人性和良知引领我们，停止抗拒心中那份引力。那与生俱来的良知和脸颊上的热泪，是不会骗人的。当心中的磁铁连接在一起，就会产生更大的磁场力量。呵护着心里的火苗，是为了在对的时机点，让正义得以伸张。不要怕，他人吹熄烈火的尝试，能成为助燃的氧气。更要记得，星星之火得以燎原。